In this video, we're going to take a deeper dive into the text editor that comes with WordPress. So go ahead and click on edit next to your welcome to Wordville post. And remember, we have two blocks here. We have a title block and we have a paragraph block. Now there are a ton of different block types that come with the layout and editor with WordPress. When you click in the title block, you're given a quick peek at the permalink that can be changed under settings and permalinks if you want to change how those actually work. If we click there, you'll see that we can choose a plain setting, a day and name setting, month and name numeric. Honestly, I almost always just leave it as post name unless I want to add the category in before the post name. And in that case, I can do this. I can click on category and then post name. Save my changes. And now when I come back up to my post, and take a look at the permalink, you'll notice it's slash uncategorized slash welcome to Wordville. So in this case, I want to make sure I keep my categories pretty straight. It's up to you and depending how you're building your site. We're going to talk more about categories in an upcoming video. When I click, I can update the text. And again, this is a header block. I also have a paragraph block. Now, when I hover over that, it tells me here on the right that this is a paragraph block. And when I click in it, my WYSIWYG editor shows up. Now you might be wondering, well, where's all the functionality of some of the more robust WYSIWYG editors that are out there? Well, WordPress feels like this is all you actually need because of the new layout builder and the ability to create blocks with very specific content. So this is a paragraph block and this is all we need. Well, editing this is simple. Again, I can just highlight and bold and italicize the word WordPress. No problem. I can center this entire paragraph. I can even change the block into a different style. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. One thing to remember is that you can't mix block types inside of the same block. So this is a paragraph block. That's the kind of block it is. If I want to add, say, a heading block here below, well, it's really simple to do. I can come up and click Add Block. The most used blocks are here, but of course, if I scroll down, all of the block types are listed. We'll cover those in the next few videos. For now, I can just add a heading block, and it's going to ask, do I want an H2, H3, or H4? These are in declining size and styles. So an H2 is usually bigger than an H3 and an H4. By the way, all of this is determined by your theme, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. This is an H2 block. And now it's below my paragraph block. I can simply move this by clicking the arrows to move up or move down. You'll note that after I clicked and added a heading block, it automatically adds a paragraph block for me. That's really, really helpful. And I can start to type. And you'll notice that option that was on the right is now gone, but I can change it to a block quote or a list, or back to a paragraph, pre-formatted, or even verse. Whatever you decide, you can easily go back and forth depending on what you want and how you want it to look. Coming back up to the top bar here, this is of course where I add blocks. I can undo, redo, get information about the content structure of my post as well as navigate quickly to different sections of my post as well. Really, really helpful. Now, you'll notice I'm working in block mode here. If I click on document over here, it takes me back to my standard document settings or post settings that I can then change. Each time I click on a block, well, you'll notice that there are settings specific to that block over here on the right that I can easily and quickly change 
and get it just the way I want. You'll note that the WYSIWYG editor changes depending on the block type. But if I click on the three dots here, I can hide the settings. I can duplicate the block. I can insert a block before or after. I can go to HTML mode to edit the HTML. And I can add it to reusable blocks. This is a really cool feature that allows me to build up a block library that I can pull into any post I want at any time. And of course, I can remove the block. Well, this is just a quick introduction to the layout and block management system in WordPress. We're going to dive into all of the details in the next few videos.